Howdy folks, Ethios here, and welcome back. Get it turned around here, here we go. Coin barracks, oh we got... Oh boy. Take him down, take him down. Alright, come on, queue him up. To my help, and death to the others. You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. All right. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Are about to get You're out of Go ahead and queue up again. You're running out of energy. Drink a potion. Hey, queue. Take him down. So yeah, until we get some more. Um, I think it's willpower. We're not going to be able to do too much. We'll have to let uh, Kurt handle most of the stuff. We're just going to take everything we can get our hands on right now. You know, we're nobility and everything, but hey. What was that? We got like a little crafting table, tavern, merchant. It seems like we have to go around. All right? Looks that way. Here we go. Here's a crafting table. I don't really need to do anything on it so far. I got some more coin. Discovered the old warehouses. That's the tavern right there. Okay. Coin Town, Beverage Tavern, Port Quarter, Bridge, Alliance, Embassy. Okay, that's cool. I like that that's... like we have signage and stuff that we can use to know about stuff. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Alright, we're right outside. The Coin Guard Barracks. Hmm. You're all fired up, Kurt. What's going on? That's that coin barracks. What? Here, quartermaster. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission uh, of course isn't it's not. completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander <laughs> was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. Oh, wow. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution uh. that's less illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Why? Marvelous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. So, you're not going to tell me why it absolutely positively has to be there within the next shipment. It seems to be like... Like, probably weapons and stuff, so... Alright, so the caution, storehouse... The other points of interest around here. If we go... This way. I'll take the long way around. Have a look at uh, what else the uh, city has to offer. More sick and dying people. Places had seen better days. Alright. Beast Essence. That's different. Okie dokie. Here we go. Dang it. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, still, I think we have to go. We can't. Looks like that's just a villain's den. <laughs> Wonder what's there. Sounds like there'll be, you know, very nice people there. Mm hmm Yep, yeah, Serene, this is the town. Man, oh man. Rough go, this place says. Alright. And... I think we need to... Uh, let's down further, yep. Down further, oh. Excuse me, map. There we go. Map had a little freak out moment over there. Down, and then... It's like to the left. Right, there's port quarter. Ah, uh, keep doing that. Gotta stop doing that. Okay. We're getting used to controls a little bit. It's not too. Uh oh, here we go. What's happening here? Lively there, lads and lasses. Vasco. The merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <coughs> Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sarde, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Not a boat. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him, or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure, like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. Hmm. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Sure thing. Um, ask about... Let's ask about Kevin Boy. Has he got anybody you know? know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow noughts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. All right, I gotta figure out the different um, factions and stuff. Who, who the who are the noughts? Who are, you know all this other stuff? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Mm, this friends. Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Flavio and Lauro. Lauro. As you wish, you'll find them over there, in port. All right. Um... Ask about his absence. He doesn't seem to know a lot. Guess about heretics. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many Cummins and Cummins <laughs> to spot possible stolen. Yep. Uh, as long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. <laughs> why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Well, uh, I'll keep from saying too much. Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. 
The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. <laughs> so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. Okay. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the Nauts. No one else may enter. Interesting. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. <laughs> all merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. <laughs> Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my heart. Hands are going to have your heart. You're going to be gone. I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier for D. Huh. This place guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. Oh boy. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurd. At least we tried. But the commander is going to have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. Uh -huh. We must be at the harbor master's office. Okay. Got anything else? Uh, that's about the knots, because we don't know a whole lot about the knots. At least I don't. Could you tell me a little about your guild? guild. We are masters of the oceans. Our ships not sail when Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a knot? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norts master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Hmm, interesting. All right, uh, so that's really all I kind of needed soon, to know Captain. from you, Captain. We so I guess, so he's a not people smuggler the sailor mentioned. Mm -hmm. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. All right, so we got some knots. We got the harbor master's office. We got disappearance. Constantine, check the tavern. So we got two places to look for there. Clear out the warehouse guards. Interrogate the smuggler. Tamper with the ship's log. Interesting. Alright. I don't want to do that just yet. I want to figure out the uh, other thing first. So let's go. Let's look for the cabin boy. Seems like a simple enough thing to do. I forget to use the sprint key. Alright, here's our first location. Flavia, hello. Alright, I have two clients. So I'm going to go to Alsa, and the Inquisitors are on their heels, so it's not make my job any easier. I think I can get them onto a ship inconspicuously, but we'll have to be cautious. I hope that they will prove patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office where the Inquisitors never dare to enter. Interesting. But we're not gonna... Hello. Take everything. Alright, Flavia. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's. The young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator. And an excellent leader of men. 
He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. Hmm. All right. Um. What is his vigil? What is doing his free time when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages, and when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did huh. he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Hmm. Yeah, uh, friends. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. <laughs> like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Why? I haven't the faintest idea. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks mm. a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others, and when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. I need to be going. Farewell. Hmm. Interesting. Doki, and then so let's talk to Lasco. Pick up some loot on the way. Forage. Is that like porridge? But with the bee. Hello. All right. Take all of that. All right, Lauro. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars. Bet your, st him, bet your like stars. I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing. He was taken. All right. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for Lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual mm -hmm. self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. <laughs> no idea. Okay. Uh, what about the kidnappers? Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Mm. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. B but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. Mm -hmm. Playing play cards. cards with him from time to time. I wonder if there are any games. From morning to night time to be that skilled. 
but now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. I wonder if they have any uh, interesting games to play. Story this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. All right, so we got two things that go at the tavern. I have to go see the heretics and warehouse guards. Okay. Not prison. One last per point of interest over there. Um, so we're not going to go to the tavern just yet. Let's go and see about this other stuff. Let's go here first. Get our sprint on. Shift, come on. Come on, shift. You got me. Oop. Goodness me. There we go. Alright. Run this auto bay. If I can recall your name. I don't think we can go up there, so we have to go this way, right? Heck damn it. Here we go. Okay. This is straight. Zone's controlled by other factions. So if this zone is controlled by another faction, then yours forbidden a costume of the faction allow you to trick the guards. You can also destroy stealth, but if it spots you and damage your reputation of the faction. Okay. So question. That's inventory. Sailor's coat? Set. I'm guessing that's not that's something. Let's go ahead and equip. Do all, we, do all we need is one thing? Or... One Tricone, yep. Uh, let's equip that. Back. We have hands, we have doctor's gloves. Let's equip those. Why not? Melee weapons, I mean... That's why we have a Krypton A. We can't really do anything there. We have the Novice Ring. That's what we're going to go with. No firearms, really. Alright, so this will... Disguise yourself as a knot. There we go. Okay. your mark hidden from them they might let us in unless we just offered them a drink these sailors rarely refuse one all right let's have I a talk with them this is headed. if we drop a little soporific in their glasses the way will be clear i'll just need to find the proper ingredients but it's doable okay um so let's talk about ingredients huh um codex Mushrooms. Liquid journal. Okay, that's okay, that's where those come from. Um, do we have like a their crafting table nearby? Uh -oh. Merchant. There we go. Go this way. We'll go up if we wanted to. So it gives you different options to go with. I like that. Alright, we need to Whoa. Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. You're going to have to wait. We need to find a way to clear the access to the warehouse. Okay, let's steed. Yeah, we're not gonna... I'm gonna have to wait on that. Just give me a second. Alright, we close. Closer. That blood? Yep. Alright. Hang on. 
Turn around. Oh, it should be. I guess it's down here. A thorn. What is this? Poorly written notice. To the family of the rich man who provoked us, we have him, we'll kill him if you don't pay us. Come with a full purse of the alley south of the old warehouse district. Interesting. Alright, so yeah, it's definitely down here. Here we go. Alright, workbench. So, craftsmanship. So, you need knowledge to be able to use the table, spend points, use certain pieces of equipment, give you a bonus. Each town point unlocked recipes. You also need ingredients, which you can find while exploring. So, it's craftsmanship and science from in here. Okay, and we need the what is it needed to make lace drink right bottle of brandy and sleep potion okay so we don't have the science for it so we're not gonna be able to do it okay all right that's what i figured but it was worth a shot so yeah you're given different options based on what your abilities are and what you can do. So, in the meantime, oh, we're, we're going to have to do it stealthily. And I think the way we're going to have to do that is by getting... Alright, are we able to climb? Yes, we are. Here we go. Oh, we're slow up the ladder. Who fungus, huh? Hello. It basically puts them off our thing. We do Z. It gives us a little bit of a sneaky walk. It's the best we can do. Alright, up we go. Okay. Open up. Alright, so... Did you see the people we needed to talk to? Who... Who is there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. <laughs> oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. Like we are pilgrims. not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. All right. Ask about the research. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius, the disciple of St. Matthias, the one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke the of. The Eden of St. The Eden of St. Matthias. Mm. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the mm. earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white. And there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. 
I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. All right. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood <laughs> the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. Mm -hmm. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. Mm. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition Al -Sad, okay. us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you. Please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Hmm. We're not going to arrest them, but we're going to speak. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahim, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the illuminated forever light your path. These people have done nothing wrong. If I manage to convince the ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Have you spoken with the ambassador? Has he accepted to give us refuge? Yeah, right, so yeah. No 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 no. Oh my goodness. Is there no jump? I don't think there's a jump. Alright, so we don't we have a lockpick. And that is a... Uh, we just drop? Can we? No? We have to... Oh! There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Just wanted to drop. Alright. These guys ain't gonna... No. Hello? What can I do for you? We're the relay. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Uh, okay. Notify the porters? Okay, yeah, this, okay, that was for a different thing. I didn't know. Didn't understand. Alright, do this. Alright, so we gotta inform those guys to send the stuff in. Alright, and then we gotta do... Mess with the manifest. Can we get going? Yes. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. Okay. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. Move out. Quick steps. All right. So we got finished with that. Coin guard. Yeah, we didn't need to do that. All right. We still have the tavern to go to. The bridge alliance. We have two things to do at the bridge alliance now. And so are those going to be... Okay, so we still have two things to do for the main, main quest. Alright, so... Where's the side quest for? Merchandise? Talk to the quartermaster. I need to interrogate the witnesses. But it doesn't show... Like, we still have to go into the Harbor Master's office and tamper. But it's not in the ledger. Right? Do you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. Sea down, so we're walking. 
all normal like. Okay. Gotta go up. You, sir, are very suspicious of me, apparently. There'll be two of our carrying, you know, who around. Hello. You don't have a lockpick. Let's go. So it's got to be in one of those two, or maybe in here, maybe. Do another sailor's coat, sailor's boots, sailor's gloves. Sweet. It's like a little bunker barracks area. Still no lock picking for me. Oops, 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 there it is. All right, no one's home. Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Key to the jails, okay. All right, we added our thing. And let's get out. Okay, as far as map goes, no, okay. We need the keys, no. Okay, yeah, so the... I just wanted to make sure that the keys did not open the locks. Alright, so soon we'll be just taking this stuff off to not worry about it. Alright, out we go. The Wild Blue Yonder, next is a tavern. Or the Bridge Embassy, actually. Oh, the Bridge Embassy, hit the tavern on the way down and do all that rigmarole. Alright, get. Get Z out of here. Okay. So we can hit Z. Z is a toggle, but shift is not. So we can toggle walk, but we can't toggle sprint. Excuse me. Here we go. All right, let's head to the bridge ambassador people. So we gotta like notify everybody that we live in Prince's place. Doesn't seem too uh, friendly. All right, here we go, ambassador from the bridge alliance. Hello, Sahim. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade, I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. Mm -hmm. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. Mm. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? <laughs> Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. Mm. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. 
And I am pleased to see you have taken so well right, to so this a person we have... of diplomacy. I think this the person we have to talk to. In the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Clever and mean, huh? All right. Um, yeah, so we, yeah, this is the person we talked about for the historians. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. All right, and yeah, let's ask these questions about the Bridge Alliance and such. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of his allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. Nations of the Bridge. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors. But our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, mm. it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Mm. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot of like politics going on with this game, so as to know who the big players are. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are, in fact, quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. You're bringing the war with you. Mm. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. Of course. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. Mm -hmm. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. Mm -hmm. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier for D for much longer than we have. Oh, they got what there first. It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island. An enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only hmm. occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible uh -huh. language. Of course. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. All right. I think that's about it. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. That gives us Goodbye. two new Lord things to do. Survey. Two new things to do. We gotta work with this. Uh. Charlatan alchemist guy. We gotta find him. We gotta go to the tavern. And then we gotta go back to him in order to help out uh, the uh, 
get them asylum. And so we will do all that next time. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I am definitely intrigued by all of this, um, all the, you know, lore and world building that this, that Greedfall has to offer. And, um, and we're only, you know, we are, there's so little that we know. Um, so little we know about the Bridge Alliance, the Telemi, um, ourselves even. And then what's going on in, you know, the, the, uh, oh, here's a look at the world map. What's going on in the world around us. So it doesn't give us a whole lot. So there's Serene. There's New Serene. There's, okay, there's the three cities we were talking about. So there's New Serene, which is the Merchant Congregation. And that's the faction flag. Hikmet, and that's the Bridge Alliance faction flag, I'm assuming, and San Mateus, and that's the uh, the Telemi uh, faction flag. It's the island of Tiafredi, a big old place compared to Serene. So that's the only like map access that we have is Serene, and then the island. We know where New Serene is. We don't know where Hikmet and St. Mateus is on here. It seems like some shit went down over there. But anywho, until next time, this has been Zasaios signing out. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.